Hey everyone, in this tutorial I just want to show you how to set up a WordPress website by just going to wordpress.com and once you get there it's telling you build a website, build a movement. Just click here to start your website. Okay, so what you'll do is go ahead and type in your email address, type in some kind of a username, and then any password that you might want. Go ahead and press create your account. On the next screen, you're gonna see that it's asking what kind of site you're trying to build. Uh, you can do a blog, which we're gonna do here in a second. You could also do this for a business if you wanted to promote products and services and a professional website if you wanted to promote your work as a student. You could do that as well, uh, separately. And then they even have an option for an online store if you wanted to sell products, which you do have to pay for. What we're doing in this class is that we're gonna make a blog. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that blog and then you're gonna pick a topic and so if I wanted to do a music blog about music in Austin I could go ahead and just say music for now at least give it a uh, topic if you don't know what your topic is yet that's totally fine maybe just put in a couple keywords on things that you're interested in for now and then you can always change it later then I'm gonna go ahead and press continue and then it's gonna ask me for a blog uh, a name so if I'm gonna call this um, Austin uh, funk music if I wanted to specifically focus on Austin funk music I can call it that or and I, I could also add reviews um, and concerts you know just I think the more specific you can be in a title the better that way when people get to your site I mean think about how many different Austin music blogs are out there so the more descriptive I think you can be in your title, the better. The more creative you can be, the better. I'm going to go ahead and press continue. Then you have some options you can choose from in terms of a theme. Find something that fits your theme, your look, your feel, uh, your topic, and then go ahead and press continue. Again, you can always change that theme later. And then the next thing is they want you to think about a domain. So that's basically what somebody's going to type in in the URL when they get to your website. So if I want to do Austin Funk music.wordpress.com there's this one that says Austin Funk Music 62697 we don't really want this long string of numbers at all okay so it's gonna try to figure out what the best easiest domain for you would be now some of these are paid so if I wanted funkmusic.com I could pay for that I don't recommend you do that at least for now maybe later down the line once you've written quite a bit of content for your site and you're sure on the domain name you might want to do something like that but for now what you want to do is go ahead and, and choose something that's easy to remember and also free so if I if Austin Funk Music was already taken I could do something like Austin Funk I'll just do funky music for now and you can see that uh, so it did come up austinfunkymusic.wordpress.com that's short enough it's easy enough to remember and it's also free you can also mess around with some of these extensions if you see a dot photo dot blog or or other things down here it's up to you if it if you like it and it's free then I say go for it so go ahead and press select then it's going to try to sell you some more products and we don't really want anything else for now so I'm going to go ahead and press start with a free site and choose that option then it's going to take the time and set me up my blog the next few things it's going to ask for me is it wants me to update my home page so I'm going to go ahead and press try it and what it's going to bring up is this a visual editor okay so it's going to allow you to change your home page a little bit so you might want to call it home, you might want to call it you know, welcome, uh, whatever you might want to do when, when users first visit your website. Then down here is where you're going to actually give like a tagline or something, um, you know, Austin Funk Music Reviews and Concerts. Sounds good to me. Great. Um, of course, you can change this picture if you want to. And then um, you'll see that this is all, uh, it's a blocky type of editor. If you want to add something after this, you can press insert after, and it's going to allow you to insert different blocks of text before or after. Now this says your uh, most recent blog post will be displayed here, okay? So you're going to be 
determining how many blog posts will appear on your home page once we start building blog posts. And then you can also provide some more uh, content for your users when they first visit your website. We'll talk more about the editor and your pages and your posts in another tutorial video, but for now go ahead and just do some preliminary content here on the home page. That way when somebody comes to your website, they'll know basically what your site is all about and they'll have some visual content to kind of look at. I'm going to go ahead and press update and then I'm going to go back then what you want to do is kind of go through these next few steps to get your site updated. I click the try it button to, you know, start setting up your tagline, getting, um, you know, the best in Austin funk music reviews and concert footage. So if you want to go actually go to these concerts. Now what, what's going to happen here is in the site icon, that's what pops up when up here in the top where it has this little WordPress logo. Uh, you can choose a little logo if you wanted to build one for yourself. You can also um, add a custom address that's going to cost a little bit money. Now our time zone is actually going to be UTC plus 5. Okay, so that's the Chicago, Dallas time. And we also do need to make sure that we confirm our email address. Uh, once we do that, then our site will be more able to be launched. So I'm going to go ahead and press save settings. Let's return back to the checklist. Now we need to go back to our email and confirm that. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to launch your site. Okay, so that was just basically how to get your site set up. Obviously, I still need to confirm my email address. And um, we will continue on with editing our posts and setting up our website in the next tutorial.